Sports. It's in the game.
And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Manchester City facing Real Madrid. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium, and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Fernando Mendy starts with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Marco Asensio plays with Vinicius Jr. in the wide areas. And operating through the middle in attack today, Karim Benzema. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be crowned club kings of Europe. Casemiro, here's Vinicius Jr. and blocked for now. Vinicius Jr. Oh, he looks threatening. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Andrich, Asensio, and that's going to roll all the way through. Well, Kevin De Bruyne, one of the complete midfield players in the modern game. Stuart, what do you expect we'll see from him this time around? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. Far from a good pass. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. So City get the match restarted. Can they come up with an equaliser having conceded? Joao Cancelo 
Jack Grealish. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. And the cross is very much on. But nothing doing in an attacking sense. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. Modric. Now Casemiro. And Benzema at the hub of this attack. Let's see what he does next. Very clever read, Casemiro. Sterling. City finding space on the flank. Not quite the cross he was hoping for. Casemiro. Force. Crossing possibilities. Mendy. Now with Vinicius Jr. Well, it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. Foden. Almost at half time, and Manchester City facing a deficit. Stewart, interested to get your take as regards their first half performance. Well, it's been a fairly easy. Oh, first Stewart, half. an opportunity! Given away by City. Benzema. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Unable to trouble the defence with that cross. And so the half-time whistle has... John, here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Mendy. This is Alaba. Tony Kroos. The ball with Luka Modric. Space and time for the cross. Well, beaten easily here. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Can they put it away? And you don't want to lose possession there. Casemiro. Well, courage has to be part of every keeper's makeup. Well, it's so easy to commit a foul there, but he's got that absolutely right. Well, that save could be the turning point here because they've been second best all over the pitch up to now. Not away completely. And problem solved for now. And showing fine vision. And Sterling has it. Can he finish? Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal.
So underway again, following the goal that made things level. And into the last 30 minutes now. Tony Kroos. Vinicius Jr. He could pick out a teammate. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. De Bruyne. Not the pass he had in mind. Eder Militao. David Alaba. And he's taken it away. De Bruyne. Real chance. And a goal to put them in front. Real drama here. Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? A move of promise on the flank. That was perfectly timed, and it is going to be a corner. Well, Real Madrid are going... to make the change now and Manchester City will go to their bench over it comes not all that convincing defensively. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Tony Kors. Mendy has it. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Well, not to be. He had moved into an illegal position. Well, it's great that he wants to run in behind, but he has to get the timing right. Gundogan and the advantage is with City Rodri De Bruyne now well visionary passing not a very good challenge and he skips well relying on the goalkeeper well there's not long left now but that just about keeps the minute well, the referee deciding to let the play flow, but now it will be a booking, Stuart. Well, as soon as the ball went dead, he was always going to book him, and he's absolutely right to do so. Substitution for Real Madrid. And now the delivery. Sterling. And now Rodri, De Bruyne at the ready. No nonsense clearance. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Can they take advantage of the situation? Might be a chance here. And up for grabs off the keeper. And a poor ball. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Mendy. Marco Asensio's in the thick of things. Not in fact a good but straightforward claim by the keeper. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Benzema. 
Carvajal. And there it is, full time, Manchester City Champions League winners. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Manchester City. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. The Champions League victors, Manchester City.